Born and bred in Southern Africa, Tony Johnston has enjoyed a long and distinguished professional career. But alongside his golf, he's also passionate about Africa's wildlife and natural environment. So Tony has been heading out beyond the confines of the golf course for a little bit of bush hacking. Don't you just love these unraked bunkers? Aha! There she is. Now, this might look like a burrowing animal, but it's not. This is an elephant's footprint. This is the elephant's spur. Starts here, follows through here, heads up the riverbed, and off into the distance. The front feet are round, the rear feet are more oval shaped, and they have this individual ridging on the feet, which is pretty much like a human fingerprint. And these ridges serve a purpose. They help the elephant get traction going up slippery surfaces, and you'd be amazed at the places these things can climb to. The size of the footprint can tell us the height of the elephant at the shoulder. You take five times the diameter of the front foot, or two and a half times the circumference. This footprint is about two feet across, so he's gonna be about 10, maybe 11 feet. On the bottom of the foot is a gelatinous pad which helps the elephant walk really quietly through twigs and leaves. Our elephant is not walking aimlessly down this riverbed. He's taking these huge footsteps for a reason. They have an incredible sense of smell and this is what he's been up to. As you see, this is a dry riverbed but they can smell water up to a meter down. He's come along here, scooped this out with his trunk. The water has come up clean and clear, filtered by the sand and while he's been here, you can see he's splashed around, he's had a bit of a bath. Joy to the world. Reed straw, elephant excavation, what a 19th hole. <laughs> 